You can't do business in a community, take from that community, and not give back into it. It's circular. The company's mission was not just to entertain African Americans, but it was to inform, educate, and empower them. And we view our platform as a platform for advocacy. And that very much started on the corner of 4th and H with my mother's morning talk show, uh, where the slogan of WOL was, information is power. I often say that African Americans will make the right decision if they're presented with the right information in a timely fashion. Usually by the time we find out something is going on, it's black history, not current events. And so I feel that this obligation to continue playing it forward, to continue trying to replicate what I'm doing to expand and get other people involved and get them inspired and motivated to help the community is my mission. Given that Radio One is always targeted the African-American community, Washington, D.C. was ground zero for opportunities. It was created and it existed for a purpose beyond just the profit generation mode that it added something to a community that absolutely needed advocacy and support and opportunity and that it was built to last, that the company will go on beyond my mother's tenure or my tenure at the company. If you don't have individuals who are able to embrace your vision, embrace what you see in your mind's eye, where you want to take your company, then you're not gonna make it. It really does take a team effort to succeed. I think I'm most proud that we've been able to build a company of scale serving the African American community without sacrificing a connection to that community. There's a balance of business interest and community advocacy that is at the heart of the company's mission and the company's culture. And we've been able to maintain that uh, throughout the 36-year history of Radio One.